for overcoming this problem we have several options somehow we need to validate the user input what we mean is that uh, we need to make sure that some characters that the user is inputting would be escaped there are uh, some methods in the mysql that you could just tell them to escape some certain characters like single quotation so when a single quotation is passed it would be part of the uh, email it would be just escaped and not processed as a uh, some data another method is to use process statement what we mean is that uh, just for simplicity what the um, query does is that it would be sent as we said it would be sent to the database and then get executed after it has received the user input but but if we could just send the query so that the database could completely process the query and then after that we receive the user input and just we replace the user input uh, on the result of the uh, query being sent to the database so I'm, I'm just going to explain all of these things uh, using the pre prepared statement in a moment in here so uh, as I said what we are going to do is that first we are going to send a query to the database then we want the database to execute the query and then return the result and after that we get all the information from the user and replace that in the uh, result of the from the database uh, for the query so what i mean is that in here we are going to use something called prepared statement in the prepared statement what we do instead of just passing these variables which get the user input and in the query and put them in the query uh, we just uh, wipe these fields in here and in a C we put a question mark so in here instead of email variable which represents the uh, email field and what the user entering in the email or password field uh, i just uh, wipe these things out in here and put a question mark now what we do is that we send this query to the database the da database would compile uh, this without the executing and save the result the later on uh, we pass the value by binding this uh, query to the value that we want to execute and we pass it to the database the, the database would execute this query using the new values um, as much as it wants so in here we run the prepared method uh, to prepare the uh, query first by doing so uh, this um, would be parsed and compiled by the database and then we say bind param we want to enter two fields so we make sure that both of these fields are strings s in here is to make sure that uh, both of the email variable for the email field and also password field are a string before we bind them to the query so in this case you would make sure that everything the user is entering are a strings now after uh, we have bound the values this time we want to execute the query so we just say c which is the prepared statement and we run the uh, execute method over our object and after that we want to uh, retrieve the results and save them on a new variable so we uh, name it uh, d and we say that we want the variable d to be equal to the c object which is the execution of the prepared statement and we run the get result method over that now any result would be saved in the d variable and the rest would be uh, like before so in here the we just save it so in here i just want to enter some valid entries i say john doe at gmail.com for the username and for the password john123 and say login well it's taking some time let me refresh and no i don't get any result let me just have a look again at the code to see what the problem is so in here uh, i want to just say error reporting one uh, so that if we have any problem related to uh, 
the MySQL in here we could see the problem so error reporting one and refresh it and now we don't get any errors in here let me have a look again what I want to do is to just print the uh, a variable which repre represents the connection to the database so that if we have any uh, problem regarding the connection to the database we could understand so at the beginning of the code and in here I say print R and then the object A to see if we could connect to the database at all so I say resend and as you see it says the connection to the database was successful which means that uh, we don't have any problem in here so uh, let me just delete this line uh, any problem that we have would be uh, in one of these lines in here so what I'm going to do is to just say print R again in here but this time I say print R in this section after the get result and I want to print the results and as you see when we execute it says that it says nothing which means that the uh, problem that we have is uh, between the uh, between these uh, space these lines in here after the connection was successful to the result so let us just have a look at different sections in here uh, to see if we have any typing problems so if we look I think our problem is in here in the bind param I shouldn't say uh, the variable is equal to bind param but rather we want to run the bind param method over our object so we just say that the arrow this uh, just mark in here which means that I want to run the bind param method over our object in here now again what the bind param does is that it makes sure that what the user is entering in the email field and also the password field should be a string and after that we execute and get the result so I just say resend and as you see now we get the related result which says that the, the username and password combination is wrong so uh, we just delete this line save it and again go to the browser and one more time enter the entry john doe at gmail.com and the password which is john123 in here and we say login so we expect to get this security number which is the security number regarding the um, combination of the first entry the john doe at gmail.com and also john123 and as you see when we say login we get the related security number which means that our program works just fine also i want to test for the other entry mjgh1629 uh, at gmail.com which i said is uh, my email address in here and the password which is m120 login and we get the other security number but this time related to this new entry as you see in our database table in here now what you are going to do is to make sure that the prepared statement is not vulnerable to a SQL injection so uh, we enter what we used to do the SQL injection and say login to see if uh, the vulnerability has been somehow patched now in here we say login and after some time it says wrong email or password which means that this time it's not vulnerable to SQL injection which was the initial goal of using the prepared statement we wanted to uh, secure our application from the SQL injection attacks so that's it we learned how to set up a web server we learned what the MySQL uh, databases are and also we used the we did the MySQL injection we saw the vulnerability why it is vulnerable in general and also we were able to do the prepared statement and why they are secure against the SQL injection if you have any question or any problem please let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible